want to say Black Lives Matter. I didn't ask her any other questions after that. I just looked at her <laughs> and my heart skipped a beat for a moment and just took in what she just said and she left me speechless, which for a reporter is very hard to do. <laughs> so I was covering a protest in downtown Cincinnati and I was just looking around for interesting people to talk with. And I see it was a grandmother walking with her two grandkids. This awkward thing now because we're going through COVID. So I didn't want to run up to them and, and tap them on the shoulder like I usually do. So I'm just running after them awkwardly going, excuse me, excuse me. And eventually she realizes I'm calling out to them and I'm, I introduce myself, I say I'm a reporter. Is there any way I could just talk to you about why you're here and why you brought them here? So we start talking and she had great perspective, the grandmother did, but then she also had her grandson with her and then her granddaughter, Jordan. And as soon as I started talking to Jordan, I knew she was going to be exactly the kind of person we needed to talk to. Sometimes when you talk with kids about really serious topics, it just resonates so much more with people. And she just had such a grasp of what was going on around her, even though she was just a little six-year-old in the middle of all of it. Hi, my name is Jordan Smith. I'm six years old. My name is Tiffany Watkins, and I'm Jordan Smith's mom. Her interview aired as part of a live shot that I did, and then we put that up on the website, and some of my colleagues saw it, and they also tweeted out the quote. So we had what she said in various different formats. People instantly, it was you could tell it was hitting them. Just from the comments and the interaction that we were getting back, and so many people just quoting it and saying, wow, or saying, listen to what what this little girl's saying, this really impacted me, this really hit me. And I think a lot of us had shared it on Instagram as well, so it just started going all over the place. Her teacher actually sent me the link, wow, look at Jordan, and right after her teacher sent me the link, four other people literally sent it on Facebook, the article, and I'm like, wow, like I didn't even see this on TV yet. <laughs> then a couple of days later, I get a note from an artist by the name of Heather in North Carolina, and she messaged me this long post. She said she saw Jordan's interview and she was really impacted by it and she started painting. I was just struck by the sincerity of her words and how true they must ring for countless uh, children. She paints this beautiful portrait of Jordan and she said, is there any way you can help me get this to them? Well, at the time, when I talked to Jordan, she had left me speechless. I, I knew it was a great conversation we had, but usually I try to get people's phone numbers to follow up with them if we need to. I wasn't even thinking about that. So I immediately started thinking, we have to find her. <laughs> her cousin actually called me. It was like, hey, somebody uh, made a picture of Jordan. They want you to um, contact the news and get another interview with Jordan and talk to the artist and everything. So it was just kind of like everybody was writing me and saying, look at Jordan, look at Jordan. And it didn't take long before Jordan's mom emailed me. So then when we went back to interview Jordan after she'd seen it, I said, you know, what did you think of it? What, what did you think? And she goes, it looks just like me. The picture was beautiful, beautiful, just like me, so. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so sweet. She was so impressed that the picture looked so much like her. It looked exactly like Jordan. I was so surprised, like, wow. And from her being from North Carolina, I'm like, wow, Jordan, your words actually touched somebody enough for them to paint. And when she sent the painting, she also wrote a, a letter to Jordan. It was so beautiful. She drew flowers on it. I just couldn't believe somebody all the way in North Carolina hurt my baby. <laughs> and I gave her big, beautiful hair and I put flowers in it to kind of represent all the growth and possibilities that are going on right now. She will never not matter. I love it because it, it's like me. Jordan said she was going to hang the picture in her bedroom so that she could see it every day. And hopefully she has that feeling every time she looks at it, that she matters, that she's special. It's like white people and black people, they're still human beings. A lot of people question, why would you ever take your kids or your grandkids to a protest? And one of the distinctions that we made sure to make was that this was not at night when things were tending to get a little more out of control. This was during the day. Things were very peaceful. Being a parent, you have that hesitation of 
something happening to your kids, but as long as you're there to protect them, um, it's okay for them to see for themselves and let them experience it firsthand just so they can know and build up their own ideal of what's going on for them for themselves. So they won't have to hear it and then run with somebody else's opinion. They can create their own. I think there's no better history lesson this summer than getting your children and girl, grandchildren to see what's going on and talking to them about it and trying to help them understand why this is going on. And I think that this example with Jordan is a perfect example of that. It means that black lives matter and they should all come together. Everything that we're going through right now is going to have a much bigger impact on children than it is going to have on us. They're gonna be here a lot longer than we are. And I think Jordan reminded us of all of that. And talking to her grandmother, one of the things that she said was, I hope that when she looks at that picture 20 years from now, she's able to know that she had a role in history being made and that she had a voice in this moment, which I thought was really special. Jordan was actually scared to seeing everything go down and just didn't know what was going on. So I think kids should be involved because they do have opinions and they need to be heard as well because this is their generation we're standing up for it. And it's good for them to know that you do have a voice and your voice do count. I hope other kids can realize that their voice is powerful and it matters. And even though they might not see children on television on a regular basis, what they have to say matters too. And the conversations that they're having with their families and their perspective is so important. And they're the voices we're going to be listening to in the next 10 and 20 years. I hope that she learned that it's okay to stand up for yourself. It's okay to have an opinion. I mean, you don't have to be afraid of speaking your heart and letting others know how you feel about any situation. I just hope she know that it's okay to stand up for yourself at the end of the day. You can be brave like me. I think that Jordan's interview just made you take a step back from that and listen to the words that this little kid is saying. And it reminded people who were out protesting that was why they were doing it. So I also got messages from people that said, you know, I hadn't really made up my mind about what I think about what's going on, but hearing that little girl and what she had to say made me think differently about all of this. And I think that's part of our role as journalists right now is to show those different perspectives and give people a full picture to make up their mind about the current events. Another common comment that we saw to this story is that there's no way she could have thought of that on the spot. There's no way that this little girl could speak that profoundly. I randomly picked this grandma and her two grandkids out of the crowd because I knew just seeing that dynamic could be really powerful and they might have something powerful to say. Everybody should come together and pray and be together and love each other.